Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. I'm your host today, Silent Senior 09, and the last time we left off, we were finished up here with the uh, Monster Corridor, or whatever this was called. So let's go ahead and leave this place, shall we? Oh, goodness gracious. I think pretty much what we accomplished so far, really, in far as far as Witchy World is concerned, is we've um, just about, well, no, we really didn't accomplish a whole lot, I'll admit. And honestly, it's going to feel that way because Witchy World is just such a heavily or task-oriented place to get jiggies or good nuggets that it's pretty near impossible to get things done. Hey, can't you read, Furback? Our food must be consumed within the park. That's not fair. Of course it's not fair. But try and leave with that stuff you've got and I'll take it off for you. That's kind of bass backwards right there, jeez. Most places let you doggy bag as far as taking food out of the theme park is concerned. Taking food in is another story, you know, or a movie theater for that matter, but... Oh well, to each their own, I guess. I want some grenade eggs, man. Come on. Yes. Got the firepower! Firepower! Sorry. I was gonna say fire! And then power, but instead I got fire and then pow wow. Like pow wow. Like I'm doing a pow wow or something. I'm like, what? Wait, what's a pow wow? Anyway. Before I make more of a goof, goofy gooberish uh, of myself, let's go ahead and continue, shall we? Um, up here, what you're going to want to do. Oh, crap. Forgot about that guy. Oh, dang it. I'm going to freaking. Oh, give me that. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Yes. Okay. Whew. Gosh, I got so much honeycomb energy, man. This is just ridiculous, man. I can't believe... Dude, line up, flip-flop, grip-grab, and do it. Flip-flop, grip-grab, siddle. That's all I gotta do. It's a simple process. Okay, he's not there. Oh, now he is. Well, it's a good thing I got past him now. Get out of here. Give me that. A little more, a little more, a little more. Okay, Phew. A little tricky. Anyway, as I was saying, you want to settle on over here to this train switch. And this, my friends, will activate the uh, train station for Witchy World, which you're going to definitely want. Especially since I think her name was Scruddy. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe it's Scratty. I could be wrong. I don't think we caught her name. Hello. This is a very large individual. You must be one of the kids. Thank goodness you came, man. I'm really hungry. Don't you think you've had enough? No way, man. I just need a burger before I go find my mom. Ooh, you've got some burgers. Please, 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 please. Can I have one? Will you please give me some food? I really don't think you need it. But, because I'm a nice guy, go for it. Have a booger, man. Yummy! Uh, are you okay, kid? You're looking a little, uh, er, fool, shall we say. <coughs> My tummy hurts! Please carry me back to Mom! I can't stand up! I'm not surprised! Oh my gosh, Willy Wonka right there, man. I feel funny! I'm not surprised. I have no idea how I knew that line, but I just did. Trophy is loading ore and glitter gulch mine. Would you like me to come pick you up? Go for it, dude. Bring your caucus over here, your big train, however you do that. I don't know. I can just imagine a giant ten-foot monster, a uh, monstrous coal mo guy sitting in the engineer's position and driving the train. You're driving the train? Oh, wait, no. Actually, it's driving a car. Sorry. I was thinking series of unfortunate events. Oops. <laughs> Way to mess it up, dude. Come on, man. Get your references right. Alrighty, so now the train is here. Yay. Hopefully, uh, Scruddy or Scratty, whatever her name is, hears it. Oh, she does. Cool. Oh, yeah, I like, think I heard the train arrive. Like, time to leave. Yeah, me and my cheap persona for the characters. Yep, 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 that's me. Well, not really. <laughs> that's just... Really, that's the only personality I can give her as far as, like, distinguishing her from other characters you'll meet later on. 
Let's try not to spoil things, though, shall we? <laughs> Alrighty, so once you uh, brought the train here, and you press the train switch, you're good to go. So, we're going to go ahead and leave the monster area. Goodbye, Frankenstein. Goodbye, crew world! It's been nice knowing you. Oh, wait, no, not, not quite that drastic. Uh-huh. Yeah, you just you, you just waiting for me to come out. Yeah, see, you already got your first shot in. Uh-huh. Let's see how you are, you little dirtbag. Playing me nasty. You little cheapskate. Anyway, sorry. Ugh, sheesh. Someone found the switch. Ugh, oh, I hate customers always wanting things. Great. We had somebody sneeze on our food, now we gotta have somebody with a disgruntled attitude. Okay, put on a smile. Happy face, happy face, okay. Hello, I'm a customer. Hurry up and order, weirdos. I'm a busy guy. So I see! We had to fight our way through this crowd of customers you have! <laughs> Quite the comedian, huh? Now how about some Salty Joe's Limp Salty Fries? Ew. Limp Salty Fries? <laughs> I don't think so. Not for me, punk. Uh oh, yeah, we better go ahead and get him. You kinda need him for something. Give me some fries, Joe! Yeah, fries coming right up with that. Er, have a nice day, I guess. <laughs> I knew he would say that. Yep, so did I. Chunk, there's our fries. Hmm, I'd better start frying up some more, because I'm all out. Yes! You'd better prepare for the impending rush! Why, you cheeky little... <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this game just... You really don't need any help for the comedy in this game. It just kind of writes itself, pretty much. Oh, Rare. If only you could see how... Well, actually, they did. They did see how awesome it is. But anyway, we're not going to get in that debate or topic. <gasps> Oh, excuse me, sorry. I had to hiccup in a burp there. What's up with that? Alright, I'm trying to remember if I went up here or not. Yeah, I did, okay. Because I recollect, after failing, miserably getting on top of the top, and making a corny joke about getting on top of the top, as I like being on top. Hee hee hee, giggity. I also remember that stupid troll in cash register coming up after me and gnawing the poo out of me, or throwing change at me left and right. Alrighty, so we're in the western area of Witchy World. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a Jinjo here. I think that actually is going to complete another family of Jinjos. Sweet. Yay! <coughs> Hooray, another good nugget! Has been rewarded to us. Or awarded to us, not rewarded. Ooh. A nice little minigame, huh? Ring the bell to win a top prize! Ah, yes. So this is kind of an easy little jiggy you can get. What you're going to do is you're going to do Beat Buster, followed by a drill, Bill Drill, and then, if you didn't do it already, a Grenade Egg. Pow! Wham bam! Thank you, ma'am. Aw, oh, I feel sorry. Poor Quasimodo. He sat up there guarding that bell. Well, actually, he wasn't up there, but... I just think of Quasimodo whenever I see bells. Like, you know, from the uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Or M Notre Dame, I guess. I, I could never really tell what's the proper pronunciation for that, because I've heard of two different ways, you know. It's kind of like the word coupon. I've heard two different ways for that word to be pronounced. I've heard coupon, like the way I say it. And I've heard people say coupon, like a cube. Except it's a cube with a pawn after it instead of a cube. You know, coupon. I don't know which sounds better, really. I personally feel more it's more natural to say coupon, but hey, that's just me, personally. Anywho, why am I talking about pronunciation? We should be talking about Banjo-Tooie. Like, why are we going up here? Well, to activate this warp pad, of course. And we need to drop in on Wumble Wigwong, because I want to get some stuff done. So, without further ado, let's do it. Let's do the do, man. You have Clovo. Want to give to Humba? Yes, I do. Once more. Once more with Philly. Sure, I'll just uh, toss it on in again. Whoosh! Yay! Magic ready once more. 
jumping Wumpa Pool. Alrighty, you heard it here, folks. She wants us to jump on in. Cannonball! Sploosh. Yay. And we get. Wow. Boxed vehicle. Okay. Wumpa called this fan. Fan carries much coins. Use control stick to move and press B for horn. Sweet! Yeah, baby. We're going to be picking up all the deliciously delectable chicks. Or for Kazooie's case, all the guys or whatever. I don't know. I don't think it works that way. I think usually it's the other way around, stereotypically speaking. Not that it's actually like that, because... <laughs> Nobody cares what kind of ride you got. All that matters is that you can get from point A to point B. Anywho, uh, as a van... Despite the non-creative title for this transformation, we are actually pretty much indestructible. We can really kick some serious iguana booty. Or we can just simply run over people, employers, whatever you want to call it. Just because it's funny, watching them run away and then you just kind of like, WOMP! There it is, knock them right over. Another thing you can do is right up to these doors, you're going to press B to honk your horn, and it will lift up, letting you in. And I think there's like four or five of those, give or take, around the, around the areas in this place. So you definitely don't want to forget to grab any of the items that are hidden behind each of those doors. And if you, like, were having trouble defeating these guys, the, uh, using the, utilizing the van was probably the secondary choice, and probably the less painful choice, unlike I myself experienced. I wound up freaking almost dying because these stupid guy, the stupid cash register dudes kept shooting their dang gum pennies at me. You know, pennies for thoughts or whatever. Give me their two cents worth of input. What? What in the world am I doing? Seriously, holy freaking crap. Can you be any more of a dummy? Get over here and stop making an arse of yourself. Jeez. Okay, so, the third final uh, thing you can do with a van is right up here where it says pay here. We can go ahead and pay to open up a... or un, not a, because that's grammatically correct, I guess. Un attraction. That is, that was once closed, but is now open! Open to the public. Not that they, I... not that I think anybody would want to ride this ride, but, uh... Who knows, maybe somebody will be interested or intrigued by the opening and closing of his mouth. Well, while we ponder that thought, let's go ahead and make our way in here, drive on in and uh, show off our mad skills here. We got some kick arse tires here that can drive in lava. Run over Frankenstein here and uh, grab ourselves. I think it's a cheetah pitch. Yes. Nice. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and just activate the warp pad and just get on back to normal wigwam's place, because we kind of need to get there ASAP. I was thinking of some kind of, like, abbreviation that could be used there, but I really I suck at those, so I don't know why I bother trying to do that. And I think this is the last warp pad, actually, within this world, so yay for that. Cool. Unfortunately, for now, we are done with the van, but fret not, friends. We will be able to return to this form shortly. We just, uh, we kind of need to do other stuff, so without further ado, spaloosh right into the pool. I'm trying to see if I can get the one wigwam wet there. You know, like, jump, I don't know if any of you have ever done that, like, jump in a pool and jump, like, right towards somebody, but not on them, per se. Just enough so that the impact of the splash goes straight toward that person, especially if they're outside of the pool. It's just, I don't know. I remember doing something like that when I was a kid, or when we were, when I was like, growing up and going to my grandmother's pool, actually. Oh, lordy, 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 good times, good times. Okay, so, here we are at Crazy Castle Stockade. Here's a little bit we need to do here. One of which involves busting open this cage, which, with closer inspection, is cracked. So let's go ahead and, uh do the permanent damage repairs and uh, destroy it. Yay. And let's see here, what else do we need to do here? Mm -hmm. Hey, a Jinjo! Hey, Jinjo! How you? Holy crap, it's coming after me! Roar! I'm Minjo, arch enemy of the Jinjos! Ugh, get back! Back, I say! You know what, you know what? Here's Chucky! Get out of here, you! 
That's right. Ooh, a move. Let's go and learn it, shall we? Wait, wait, what's going on? No way, son! I'm only teaching this one to Banjo once you got rid of that dumb bird. You're so funny! <laughs> yep, that's right, folks. Remember that move? Yeah, let's try that game without the uh, slur. Remember that move we learned back, I think it was in the last episode, that involved splitting Banjo-Kazooie up? Yeah, about that. We now have a very wide range of moves we can potentially learn with both characters. Sometimes you're going to find you're going to need Banjo. Sometimes you think you're going to find you're going to need Kazooie. Other times, you just really don't know, so you just kind of have to either anticipate or just get a guide, I guess. Banjo's now got an empty pack, so why not use it to attack? Press B and round its wings. Bumps and bruises to baddies it brings. That'll be all. This missed. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's mean, but that was perfect. Yes, what a way to do that. Come on, dude, swing your backpack. Yeah, so that's the move we just learned. It's actually pretty doggone cool. Because not only can we attack enemies, it's actually a pretty powerful attack, believe it or not. See that? One hit KO. Oh yeah. We can also do a double jump if you want to. If you jump up with A, press B, then press A again, you can actually jump up in the air a second time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and enter here since we have access to it. And, uh, oh, okay. The pump room. Hmm. Reminds me of the pump for the pool, actually. Except it's not quite so fancy and big like this one is. Like a pool for a pump is kind of like it's... It's not like small per se, but it's just... It's it's enough to make you mesmerized by like, ooh, what's this do? You know, because there's switches and stuff you can do. Anyway, why am I talking about that? Uh, what you want to do in here is you want to bring Banjo and Kazooie split up and you want to have them press on these switches. Or step on these switches. And you're going to find that you're going to have to do this rather periodically throughout, so... Definitely get used to doing that through different worlds and uh, activating certain really interesting, unique switches. Sometimes you're going to need, like, just simply one character to press on a switch, and the only way that would work is if Spanjo Joe Kazooie are separate, because there's going to be a few times when you have that happen. So, but anyway. Um, let me see, do we? Yeah, we don't really have time. I think that's all the time we have for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all very much. Please don't let us chill slap. And next time we're going to take on whatever's inside that giant funhouse we just blew up. So, see you guys next time. Peace.